Hey everybody, welcome back to If Found. I really should be doing more productive work right now, like editing the previous, some previous videos that haven't went up yet, or working on my actual day job work, but no, I'm here. I'm here playing this game. So, uh, let's get it started then. Watching the toy show. Okay, what's the toy show, by the way? The Late Late Toy Show is an episode of the late night chat show, The Late Late Show, that airs just before Christmas. Different children come on the show to play with and talk about popular toys and to perform. To perform, excuse me. Watching the toy show with Colum was like being kids again. Big kids looking out for each other and eating too many sweets. Well, well I guess we'll just erase us. Goodbye. Kiss me, honey bun. Ah, he's attacking me! Oi, get a room. We're going, we're going. Come on, Mogra. I don't, I don't know what that is, what is that? Irish for my love. One dialect would pronounce it as Mogra. Okay. Uh... I don't, I don't know enough, <laughs> enough Gaelic. Um, let's go with, uh... Clone? Clone? Losers? What, how do you pronounce that? A quick save weighing, saying goodbye in Irish. A shortened version of, uh... Slon. Slon ab hele. Or safe journey home. God, this is gonna be so terrible. I'm, I'm sorry to anyone from Ireland. It has to hear me say these words. Awkward silence, 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 awkward silence. Awkward silence is sitting with Colum all by ourselves, or no. Colum and the other guy are already together. This is Shan? Us and Shan? Awkward silence, awkward silence, awkward silence. No more awkward silence, apparently. Just television. So, how did you three meet, anyway? We all went on the trip to Tip this year from Castle Bar. Uh, where's Tip? A nickname for the music festival... Oh, gosh. Fiele, <laughs> which took place in County Tipperary between 1990 and 1997. It was some crack. I had my guitar on the bus. Literally the Irish word for fun. Could be used to mean fun in Hiberno English, but it could also be used in questions like what's the crack? To mean what's up or how are you? In the middle of a jam, Jack told me we were starting a band. I can believe it. You're just gonna let the conversation die like that, uh Cassio? I hope Jack knows I have the musical ability of a broken wheel. <laughs> I'm glad to have you in the house anyway. How'd you even end up here? I knew this place as the scary ghost house when I was a kid. Colum suggested it. We were all talking about putting together an EP, and we needed somewhere to practice. That's so cool. We've got an actual gig coming up soon. That'll be deadly. I wish we were a bit more focused on the music, though. Sometimes I think Colum and Jack are just like having a place they can be together. I, I, I understand it. Oh, I was a little surprised at breakfast. What were you surprised about? That you were so comfortable around them? Because, like, you don't want to be a, a third wheel, or what? Ah, or... Uh, it doesn't bother me. Colum and Jack are good people. They're outsiders, and I'm an outsider, too. And it's legal now, anyway. Haha. -ha. About time. But it's kind of intense living on top of each other sometimes. So I'm really happy you're here. Now I can talk to someone when they're busy snogging. Don't have to give me the definition for that. Hooray. You know, I think I did the leaving with your sister Asha. What's the leaving? Is that like... You're going leaving the town for something bigger? The leaving certification is the university entrance exam in Ireland. It always happens over the first two or three weeks in June, and is commonly seen as the harbinger of good summer weather. Your family owns, uh, 
Niles? Niles Chipper, right? You mean like a chip shop? Like a, a little restaurant that has, has chips, aka fries? Chippers are Ireland's fast food. The most important item are chips, steak cut fries. Supplemented by things like battered sausages, fish, burgers, and onion rings, even small towns would have one or two. At least I also know what that was. Sort of. My dad runs it, yeah. We all got roped in to help. I remember when Asha moved into my class. I'd never heard a Manchester accent in real life. Ah, you, you're, you guys, that's why you said you're an outsider, Jan, because you're not from Ireland, you're from England. Well, she's back there now, with my mum's sister. She's studying medicine and everything, just like mum. Oh, he was nice to me. I haven't talked to people from my class in ages. I left Akil. Akil? Akil? Was that what we said? Akil so quickly after school. Everybody leaves Akil. I didn't think it would be so different when school ended. Why do we need explanation for that? The Irish school system is a bit different to the US or UK. There are two levels of school, primary and secondary. Primary is from 5 to 12. Um, I'm assuming you mean ages 5 to 12. And secondary is from 13 to 18. Most schools are still connected to Catholic institutions, especially in areas like Akil. And I have went to Google Maps and looked in on Akil, and it is a real place with a real beach. And, uh, I mean, this is a, a based at least in a real location. Tell me about Dublin. There must be all kinds of things happening. Gigs, parties, party gigs. Probably. I don't do much in Dublin, or talk to anyone. But there's libraries. Mostly I read about physics, and work, and do computer stuff. My parents would love you. Uh-oh. Are you, are, you, are you proposing, Shan? Well, I might be looking for new ones. Uh, yeah, you might need new parents, huh? Would they like another child? <laughs> I mean, we might even work at the chipper. Night, Cassio. Um, I didn't know I needed to take a Duolingo class in in Irish, in Gaelic Irish to uh to understand it. Maybe even saying Gaelic Irish is the wrong thing. Uh, to be able to play this game. Uh, wish, wish, mahat. Please tell me how to pronounce that. Ihawa. Really? That's e. Or is that Iwa? Iwa Mach? Iwa? Even when they tell me how to pronounce it, I can't pronounce it. The Irish for good night. One dialect would pronounce it as this. Almost like the word why. Awa? Yeah. Please don't give me any more of these. Achievement unlocked. Every stair in this house squeaks so loud. Bye. Goodbye, Shan. Goodbye. I mean, the sun should be gone. It was night. Goodbye, sun. Good goodbye. I'm clicking you. Oh, God. Where are we going? What are we doing? Oh, another diary entry. December 9th. Band practice all day. I sat in the corner and listened. That's you. Jack, you're coming in too soon, he huffed until Colum kissed his cheek. Uh, by tea time, they were playing in the dark. The house is mishmash. I mean, a mishmash is a, a just a bundle, like a conglomeration. It's a, it's a set of things. It's a random jumble. I don't think I need to order for mishmash. Yeah, an expression that means a disorganized mis mix of things. I know that. Mishmash of wires can't handle their equipment and the lights. Oh, we're, we're just going to erase all you, huh? Thought we were going to go to the right of the page. I told them they sounded like Bon Jovi, but it didn't go down well. Jack shook his head, shook his head sadly. It's a compliment. Not everything is perfect. The house is freezing. The immersion doesn't work. 
the immersion. I don't know that. I don't. I don't know that that word in this context. And I've learned a lot about different types of mold, but who cares? Jack, Column, and Shans. I keep calling him Shan, but I guess it's Shans. Are all nice. Are also nice. I'll figure my life out tomorrow or the day after and wash my one set of clothes. I'm glad I moved my microphone so you don't have to listen to me scrape my mouse across my mouse pad a million times. Uh, it's the 10th. A rare blue sky. I wanted to go out in the fresh air, and Shans joined me for company. Spotted Mrs. McGinty in a field halfway up the hill to the loch. Her sheep running ahead of her. She whistled sharp. That's the sheep we're racing right now, I guess. I didn't think she recognized me, but gave us a short, swift nod before she turned back up the hill, sheep in tow. We talked about Manchester and Dublin. He was very impressed my, with my astrophysics. There was an eviction notice from the guards when I got home. Don't worry. We get one every week. I mean, the guards must be like the police. The name for the Irish police force, yeah. Don't worry, we get one every week. The 11th. Woke up and Colum was lighting a fire. I could feel the warmth to my bones. I chopped peat, peat briquettes. I mean, I see you haven't given me a... Uh, maybe I just haven't gotten there yet. You haven't given me the definition for, for briquettes. I mean, like charcoal briquettes, like little bricks. A common form of fuel in Ireland. Most are made by compressing the peat from the bogs that cover a large part of the Irish Midlands. I chopped peat briquettes, briquettes into thin slivers before the rain came. We had to ration our fuel, but I just wanted to, the blaze going all day. Part of me feels like I'm not the right person to play this. Not to play it, but to play it on a recording for YouTube. Because honestly, you know, I am not, I'm not uh, LGBT myself. So I feel like I'm not qualified. To, to talk about any of these subjects. So, I, I mean, I'll just try to maybe stay out of it and let the viewer come up to whatever, you know, however they feel about the story. Maybe that's the best way to do it rather than try to impose anything on the story that is coming from a place of ignorance. So, Chan's put a tape put on a tape as we hung up some Christmas lights. The four of us lay around the living room listening to The Cure. I can talk about this though because that's one of my favorite bands right there. Uh, there's a strange sensation in my body somewhere. Has a weight dropped from my shoulders or have I lost something important? I don't know. Sunday the 12th. Shans went home today and I missed him. Colum brought the rest of us to his Aunt Maggie's. Colum stayed with her back when his parents kicked him out. She has a nice cottage overlooking the, uh, the Duggart Beach, half swallowed by fuchsia bushes and giant rhubarb. Duggart, we've already talked about Duggart. And giant rhubarb is the name of an invasive plant that grows all over a kill. It's not actually rhubarb at all, but it looks similar, and it does get really big. Goodbye. She called us all wee lambs, made us cup after cup of tea, and insisted we stay for dinner. Chops and peas and coffee cake. Um, I mean, what do we need to know about chops and peas and coffee cake? That sounds, sounds fairly self-explanatory. Coffee cake is a coffee-flavored sponge with coffee buttercream. Okay, you did need to explain that because in the U.S., or at least in the U.S. where I'm from, coffee cake isn't flavored of coffee. It's a cinnamon sugar kind of cake that you eat with coffee or just on its own because it's delicious. It's not flavored with coffee. So, interesting. 
and we haven't gotten to it yet, it yet, but selection boxes. These are common Christmas presents for children. It's a big box with around six chocolate bars in it. The cake was unbearably dry, but it ate a big slice anyway. We left before it got too dark, and she gave us a huge shopping bag of food to take back. There were four selection boxes in there, too. Okay. Learning new things all the time about Ireland. At least in Ireland in the early 90s. Things to remember about Colum. Sorry. He likes junk food. Goes weak at the knees for a pack of crisps. Especially if they're salt and vinegar. At least you didn't explain what crisps are. Didn't have to go that far. Uh, potato chips, by the way, if no one was aware. Colum O'Malley, age 24. Loves bass. Walking. Walking bass lines. Jack, Aunt Maggie, and a kill. He'll take care of anyone and anything. That's how I met him, because he was feeding a stray cat near the school. Good for you, Colum. My favorite thing about him, the way he awkwardly rubs the back of his head when he's nervous. Eights, working in the Corrigan's news agent, and uh, cities, and the summer. Alright, Colum, good to know you. For all his kindness, he has a wicked sense of gallows humor. His laugh is surprisingly loud, given how quiet he is. Colum doesn't do half measures. It's like the way he feels about Jack. He's always all or nothing. Colum is good to tell secrets to, but he's not great for giving advice. He's not that good at making decisions himself. Um, I feel like that's kind of me. Not great at making decisions. Um, I feel like it can give some good advice, but I, I'm like Alice in Wonderland. Always gives very good advice, but very seldom follows it. December 13th, starting to forget my routine before I move to the big house. Let's erase these. Get out of there. Um, I wake up at 12 and I'm out of bed at 1-ish whenever the band starts. I wonder who lived here before. Some landlord. Dead generations ago. I'm gonna assume landlord means something different than it does in the US. The nobility who owned the big houses would also have owned a lot of land around them. So they're the lord of the land. Okay, makes sense. Which was rented out to Irish peasants. For example, Captain Boycott once lived on a kill island before famously being boycotted. Didn't know that was uh, the origin of that term. On land he owned elsewhere in Mayo. At three there was a knock and then a bang on the door. I saw him coming through the curtains, so I disappeared. Fergal on his little post bike with a letter from Mem. I still don't know how to pronounce how I should pronounce that, so I'm just gonna screw it up every time. Jack was the one who opened the door, the one who handed me the envelope. I haven't left my room since. What's in the envelope, Cassie? Excuse me, Cassio. Talked a lot with Shans. He had a solution for everything. I have no things, so we're going to go get my things. Tonight, the two of us will rob my house. Oh my god, Th this... I mean, I said I wasn't going to make <laughs> judgments or even try to put in my feelings. And I feel that's probably true about things that are very outside of my wheelhouse, uh, you know, outside of my experience. So anything that is heavily LGBT, I'm going to try to not mess up by talking about that uh but robbing your house is probably a really bad idea a real bad idea oh okay so that's weird we've never had to do this before always just turn the page um Sister Bernadetta, Sisters of Mercy, Castle Street, Westport, Mayo. So, Sister Bernadetta of the Sisters of Mercy, they must be some kind of Catholic organization. Or you're going to tell me about Mayo, you're not going to tell me about the Sisters of Mercy. Other than Sisters of Mercy is a, if I'm not wrong, it's a pretty great kind of like goth, industrialish kind of band from 
probably the 80s and 90s in well it could be 70s 80s uh, out of england maybe um mayo is one of 32 irish counties it's in the province of connacht the west coast uh above galway and below uh sligo sligo don't know the name is from the irish uh my ale <laughs> pronunciation mayo much like the condiment and uh you're gonna tell me later about Krogom. it's a mountain on the west coast of a uh, echel island that ascends into the sea the fictional big house situated on its slope is named after it so we are on an island on the west coast of a kill um and the pronunciation is krohan krohan to the occupants your tenancy at the dwelling of Crohan House, Kiel West, Dua, Akil, County Mayo, is illegal. And an application for a court order of forcible removal has been submitted. If you do not leave before the 14th of December, 1993, and Garda Shohana in case you're not going to tell me about that yet. what What is that? Name for the Irish police force. Also called the guards. Uh, the guards will be called in. You have... Uh, I erased it too quickly. Um, the whole of this thing to vacate. Any issue. Man, my uh, eraser is too big. It must be referred to the Residential Tenancies Board. The notice is served on the 4th of December, 1993. Signed... Sister Bernadetta, the landlord. Oh, and this is from my mom. My dear son, I don't know how to explain that I'm not who she thinks I am or wants. Uh, I should not have erased that. Um, I don't know where to start. Will she ever call me Cassio? I've been waiting for you to come home all week. What's happened all of a sudden? You're like a different person. Whatever it is, I know things will be as right as rain soon. I want you to know I forgive you for the things you said. You were angry, and we all say things we don't mean when we're angry. Maybe you're afraid to come home because of that. And maybe you're afraid you've ruined things between us. But it isn't true. I'm still your ma. Or still your mom. I'll always be here. Don't put this, like... Can we talk, mom? Don't put this on other other people like when you're gonna write this this like apology please don't say like i mean you can say i forgive you or like but like you're 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 really putting all the blame on cassio for this it's like you did all the horrible things and that's okay i forgive you like you should at least in the very least acknowledge that Maybe the both of you are wrong. Say, you know, we both said things we we didn't mean. Like, we should try to come to a better agreement and talk things out and understand each other better. Don't put all the blame on one on one side. That doesn't work very well. Let's get rid of all this. I haven't touched any of your things. I did notice some things you might want to talk about. When you get back, we'll go through it. All together. Decide what to keep and what to throw away. Why are you trying to throw away my things, Mom? She's trying, but she has all these ideas of how I should be. Missing you. Your mom. She didn't even consider she might need to apologize, too. See, that's what I was saying. That's what I said. You... We're pushing it way too much on Cassio there. The heist plan. Walk quietly to Duoch. It's a smaller village in the southwest of the island. Cassio's family lives here. It's pronounced Dua by the Bog Road. An example of what's often called a green road. Or a Borean in Ireland. Or Boreen, maybe, in Ireland. An old unpaved track with grass growing in the middle. Open my bedroom windows using the janky hinge. Pack up my stuff. Don't wake Fergal. Don't wake Mum. Figure out life with clean clothes. Um. Somebody's getting shot. 
I don't know the gun laws in uh in Ireland. But I feel like somebody's getting shot. All right, are we in space again? Nope, not in space. The clouds broke as we crossed onto the bog road. When I heard the stream, I knew we were close. There's your house in the dark. I take it. Ten twenty PM, December thirteenth, the Bog Road Heist. Before I met these guys, I couldn't have imagined this excitement in a million years. Shans asked me if I'd missed the place. It sounded so final. I just said no quickly. I didn't feel like talking about it. We climbed up the stairs my dad spent, spent two summers on. I remember fights about whether mum should make apple sponge or an apple crumble or dessert. Both sound pretty great. I remember sick days at home, watching Bosco on the TV, under blankets. Bosco was a very famous TV show for children that ran during the 70s and 80s. The host was a non-gendered puppet in a box, who is still very fondly remembered in Irish pop culture. Bosco. To look him up, excuse me, non-gendered, I'll have to look up Bosco. Wait, is my uh, eraser getting smaller as we erase things? Have I just noticed that? I thought about our old dog, Molly. Yeah, it looks like it's it's gotten smaller. As we've erased more things, our eraser has gotten smaller, as it would. And the way she snuck in under my arms, looking for rubs. Oh, look at the puppy. And how she, how light she felt in my lap when she died. Poor pup. Poor pup. There we go, in through the window. Hey, don't get your mud on my jacket. I'm in. It's not a good idea, you guys. It's really not a good idea. I do not approve. This room never really felt like mine. How can such a small empty room have so much stuff in it? I should have brought a bigger bag. Whatever I can fit will be all I have after two decades. All my old clothes were things other people thought I should like. I didn't care enough to have an opinion. Alright, so all your old clothes, they don't really represent you. My chest hurt as I looked at my bed. Part of me wanted to crawl into it, bury myself in the cool sheets and their familiar scent. Let's just erase all the things. Maybe this room lacks identity because it always had to be ready for guests. Granny at Christmas, aunts coming home, cousins from St. Paul. Or maybe this room is so blank because I hadn't figured out who I was. All I wanted was to sit in the back of the class and read books. 
I understand that, not knowing who you are or what you want out of life. I get it. Footsteps in the hall. Uh oh. This is Fergal. This doesn't look like her mom's outline. Maybe it is. You! Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I thought you were a burglar. Uh, I am. I can see you, you know. Oh, so it is. This is Fergal. Okay. You ever think of mom, you complete gobshine? An Irish insult. Another one of the many ways of calling someone stupid. Hi, Fergal. What if she heard you? She's probably awake now, worrying about the robbers. She's gonna rob us on a kill. It doesn't stop her fretting, you know. Cassio, are you okay? Who's that? None of your business. I know you're living in the big house. What of it? Lots of rumors about what goes on there. They're all like you, right? What? What like us? What are you trying to say, Fergal? No one is like me. You're the biggest freak around, that's for sure. Not cool, Fergal. I'm leaving. Hold on right there. We're not done. Jans, take my bag. I'm going to regret this. Sooner or later, your choices are going to catch up with you. I'm jumping. Catch me. Keep your bloody voice down. Now Fergal has to go explain that to their mother. Stop. You're already so close to the event horizon. Please. Can you hear me, doctor? Yes, I'm here. Who are you? Who? Call me Control. Shh. Don't you have a first name? Something less formal? Control will do. Okay, Mr. Control. It's good to hear your voice. Glad to never talk to anyone again. What are your vital signs? Are you okay? This, like, flashing, I think, is like, hurting my eyes. It's like, it gets so bright. I'm fine. I'm fine. Did you get my data? I'm looking at your readings now. The anomaly is definitely unnatural. And with its trajectory, it will intersect with the Earth in only 24 days. If we get more data from the event horizon, we can do something, right? Maybe. We might even be able to find the event that caused the anomaly in the first place. If we don't have time to send a probe. I'll do it. What? I'll kill you. Don't be so pessimistic, Control. Like you said, there's still hope. This is reckless. Doctor? Doctor, respond. Please, call me Cassiopeia. Alright, we went into the black hole now. Ha 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 You guys are so happy you got away with stealing the stuff. Is that it? Ha 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 ha. I run, collapsed into an out of breath walk. I realized all I wanted in the world was a bag of steaming hot chips and vinegar. Um, well, you know where a chipper is, right? I asked Shans about his Da's chipper in Keel. Don't we already know about Keel? One of a kill's largest villages and has a kill's largest a kill's largest beach. Shan's family live here and run a chip shop. He was fidgeting with the zip of his jacket. Let me guess, he's not really welcome back there anymore. He asked me if that's what I really wanted. His family would be there. I was too hungry to mind. What do you what do you to mind X means to be careful of or take care of. 
It also means to listen. Yeah, I, I mean, I know what that means. I don't have to explain that. If you want to escape family, you go to Dublin. You don't get stars like this in the big smoke. Although, you don't get stars like this in the big smoke. Is that what you call Dublin, the big smoke? 11.40 p.m., December 13th. Cassiopeia was over Kiel. The, the, uh, the... The constellation Cassiopeia. Not the person Cassiopeia. Is Fergal why you can't go home? He's grand. I'm used to it. Mostly. Never really got on since I went to college. Well, he seems like a complete tool. It's my mom. Just can't talk to her, and I can't handle how she looks at me now. We keep having the same arguments. And talk about everything except the obvious. The only reasonable option left is to leave the country forever. Then she'd be stuck with Fergal. Oh god, that's a terrible fate. Ha 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 ha. You don't sound angry with her, though. Oh, the fishes of the Atlantic. Mm, I am, and I amped. Amant. <laughs> Is that what you say? Amant. Am. She's done a lot for me. I love her. She raised us by herself. Dad would always be away in Scotland for most of the year working. I'm sure she loves you too? Maybe. I never really used that word much around the house. I guess it's not an Irish thing. My parents are so open with affection, it's gross. They've no shame at all. That's sweet. Mom has been through a lot for my da. He's from a kill, right? Yeah, he left for work and ended up in Manchester as a porter in the hospital. If I lived in Manchester, I would stay there. If only. Mom had to sign a letter to the priest that all the kids were being raised Catholic. He's still adamant that me, Tara, and Neil join Da for Mass every Sunday morning. So the neighbors don't forget, we're just like the rest of ye. Oh. Hello. Well, hello! That's what I said first. Speak of the devil. Go on, give us a bit of peace, Tara. I just wanted to meet your new friend. Hello, oh, Tara. Nobody in this family can mind their own business. What you mean that you don't want me to tell Mom and Dad you're here? Ugh. I'll see you. You mean like you like see multiple yous? Not everyone yes and yous are common pluralizations of you, similar to y'all in southern dialects of American English. See yes. On Sunday. Isn't that good enough? I'm Cassio. I'm living with the band right now. Well, that's good. I'm glad they're still going. Neil bet me a five or the band would break up before Christmas. They're all really talented. Talented and annoying. Sounds like my big brother. Lovely to meet you, Cassio. Cool name. I feel like we have to end this episode soon. That's my wee sister. She's a terror. I like her. She said my name is cool. It is. It's nice to hear people use it. Really? I hate my name. Chance? <laughs> no, that's a football nickname. Neil. Neil Aum Chans Akam. What the heck? I don't have a chance. The pronunciation of Shans is the same as Shans. A chance, but with an SH at the start. Or, would like chance, but with an S at SH. So, sh Shans? So that should be Shance, not Shans. Okay, Shance. Sorry, Shance. That's where you get your name from. Shance, I gotcha. Her name is... Ishan. It's Indian. I didn't realize you were partly Indian. Will I stick to Chance then? I mean, I don't know if that feels like me either. Feels like a character, but isn't that what a nickname is? You can change it. 
Your name is whatever you say it is. I was named after my grandfather. I can't imagine what my parents would say. Trouble will I get into if I even suggested it. I picked Casio for a game in college, and then it grew on me. Yeah, of course. Wait, what? You picked it? Obviously, I thought you knew. I mean, yeah, I didn't think about it. That's cool. Where are we looking? I tried looking at the hands. And we're following the line, huh? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna touch hands, huh? This is nice. Thanks for talking to me. The lads from town would think I'm a weirdo talking about names. We're all weirdos. That's true. I used to wish I was normal more than anything. I thought I could fix myself. And then I realized I didn't need to be fixed. You know what? That's, that's, that's a good outlook. Uh... Mm, you're like, nah, let's not touch hands. Oh, huh, I'm sorry. Hey, punk. Mom says to come upstairs and stay the night. Alright, time to go, Casio. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye, Chance. Goodbye, Terra. Dob will drive you back to Dua in the morning. We're leaving now, Terra. See you. Mom says you'll die of the cold out there. I love you too. Bye. Okay, so he's not really staying. Gotcha. Thought he was going to make us leave by ourselves. It's now closed. And as we walk away, each holding part of the duffel bag with Cassiopeia above us. might be achievement unlocked it took hours to walk home yeah i think this that means it's time to uh end the episode then it seems like a good good place to stop so can't tell i'm assuming that once we're getting closer and closer well we have what like 24 days or something to go through uh, before the earth hits a black hole but i'm assuming the size of our our racer here also tells us how close we are towards the end Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again next time.